Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Chatterjee and I'm the founder and CEO of Delipad IT. Delipad is your authorized Salesforce implementation partner. This video we are going to talk about um, a Salesforce product that is called Salesforce Service Cloud. Okay, so Service Cloud is basically a ticket management system provided by Salesforce. So uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about all the features that Service Cloud provide and uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how exactly the Salesforce Service Cloud looks like and how exactly you as an end user can, can, can actually see the screen and experience the UI. And then we will see how you as an admin or let's say you want to configure Service Cloud for your business. How can you do this step by step? All right. So there'll be a few, um, you know, uh, videos that we will be creating related to Service Cloud. So let's begin in the first video, this particular video, I'm just going to explain all the feature that Service Cloud provide. And then in the next video, I'm going to, you know, feature by feature, whatever I've explained in this video, I'm going to show you how it looks like inside Salesforce Service Cloud. All right. So let's begin. So let's understand why business need this product called Service Cloud. What is the use of this product? Right. Uh, so if there is a business which is actually selling some product or some services, all right, their customer, when they purchase their product and the services, their customer will raise their concern, right? Service cloud is basically a ticket management system where the ticket that has been raised by the customer would be coming inside the service cloud ticket management tool and that ticket will be resolved by the service agent. Simple. Okay. Now there is a story behind this entire journey of this ticket management, which starts from something called web two case. Web to case is a very important and a needed feature that Salesforce Service Cloud offers. So this web to case, what basically it, it, it is doing is, uh, you know, if let's say your customer is coming to your website and from your website, suppose, you know, they are actually uh, registering the concern, like I have the problem with this particular product. So from the website, the case, the ticket supposed to come to your Salesforce Service Cloud. That is called web to case from website. The case is coming to the Salesforce service cloud. Okay. And that feature name is web to case web to case feature is a pretty much configurable thing. Like Salesforce admin have to just generate a small HTML form and give it back to the website development team. Website development team has to immediately configure that HTML form inside that website and your form is ready. Right. So from Salesforce side, it's just a few clicks where you can generate that HTML code that Salesforce will actually basically generate the HTML code, which by point of, uh, by, by clicking on few, few, few details and that details that HTML code, which you have to provide to the, uh, you know, uh, you know, website development team. All right. So let's go ahead and see how this web to lead functionality works. So as I said, web to lead is basically where the customer is going to the website, going to the contact us form or some form, fill in the details, and that will create a case inside Salesforce. Now let's look into my screen. So if you see my screen, what we have is this is our official website, right? And here, you know, uh, let's say our customer, when they come here and look at this website, right? And when they go to this contact us form, this form, when they fill it, right? And if we, if they click on submit, it should create a case, a ticket inside Salesforce service cloud. Okay, right now, uh, you know, if I fill this form, it will create a ticket. It will actually create a ticket inside our Salesforce environment because we are also using Salesforce internally. But just for a demo purpose, let me show you how the form will look like. Okay, so Salesforce admin or Salesforce, uh, you know, uh, developers, uh, it's basically an admin job uh, by point and click. Salesforce admin will create this form, right? The uh, HTML form and how to create, let me show you. This is how the Salesforce, uh, you know, screens looks like. This is how the Salesforce UI looks like. The admin will just have to go here, set up, and there is a form, there's an option called web to case, right? So web to case and web to lead. Lead and case both are basically same kind of a, a, a data, right? Lead also has to be nurtured by a sales guy. A case also has to be nurtured by a service executive, right? So you, you as an admin, right, you just have to click here and 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 create a web to case email uh, html generator that's it you just fill in whatever uh, you know uh, data you're supposed to show like here if you see our contact us form we have like first name last name email phone and description this should be your salesforce fields all you have to do is select those fields here 
select what should be your return return url means once you click on submit button like uh, you know what should be your where exactly you will get redirected and finally once you click on generate right after giving this captcha if you want if you don't want just uncheck this once you click on generate what will happen this will generate one html form and the html form that it generates right it, it, it will look like this this is how it will look like okay this is the form now this is a very kind of a raw form right so the website developer has to uh, put their own css and style to create their own customized form which should look like basically this this is the raw data raw html form that's how it looking like this now what will happen is let's create a i'll try to create a case a ticket right from this web to case um, you know form okay how to do it i'll show you now but before that let me make you familiar with the user interface of service cloud all right so let's get into the user interface of service cloud once you understand how it looks like then i'll come back to this screen i'll click on submit and a case will be created a ticket will be created right from here so this is your contact us form by the way right it is a naked form right it doesn't have all the css and html applied that's why it is looks like a very like black and white kind of but when your website developer add their own css and a custom style it should look like exactly how it is looking like this here okay let's get back to the salesforce screen okay so let me just tell you this salesforce screen like salesforce basically has applications okay and this is the uh, we just have created a, a console app right this is how the salesforce app looks like right and here you have all the object object are the table that you have in salesforce service cloud okay so this is the console app if you want to change between the apps you just have to click on this nine dots app launcher you have all these apps we have created this particular console app here okay this app will basically have something like this where you can create your customer data customer data is nothing but the accounts here right and i have already created one customer called dynapad technology suppose that's a customer okay that's a company basically and this company has a lot of contact persons right and uh, the contact persons are basically alex see this alex is a contact person of this uh, you know company called dynapad technologies and this is the alex's uh, uh, email address i actually have used my email address in the alex for you to show how it works okay now what i'm going to do is let's say i am alex okay i want to go to this website uh, your web form I, I want to put my details there and click on submit the moment i click on submit it should create a ticket inside salesforce service cloud okay let's go ahead and do it so i have filled all this data over here i as alex i have given my email address my name and the subject and the description once i click on submit what's going to happen is this data will create a ticket inside salesforce and once i click on submit did you remember i told you about the return url so basically this is the return url place exactly here i when i when i generated this html form i actually put delipat uh, you know official website as a return url okay so when i click on this submit button here what will happen is this data will be pushed to salesforce um, you know service cloud and i will be redirected to delipat website how let's click on this and see see i'm getting redirected to delipat website and if i go now and search right uh, i actually have given my email address okay so if i go and check my email address first of all i would receive one email called hey alex your uh, case has been created and this is your case id guys this feature is called auto response rule we as an admin can set up a auto response rule with few clicks where we can define whenever somebody creates a case that person should receive an email saying hey your case has been created and this is the case id let me show you the email this is how the email look like so this is the template we actually have already defined this is the you know agent um, image right um, and uh, this is the case id so it's it's basically customizable email template based on the business requirement we can change it so uh, if you see here i have a case number which is this i'll quickly copy this case number and i'll show you with this case number a case has already been created and not only that we can actually tag that case because alex is the person remember this who created the case alex created the case and alex belongs to a company called dynopad technology okay so whenever i go and copy this and try to search in my uh, salesforce right i see there's a case called the case this is the case you see this the same 
email that I have received with the case ID, I see there's a case created with this. Now, if I open that case, I'll show you this case has been created. Okay. And it's actually tagged with the customer name Alex already. Why? Because Alex created that, you know, um, you know, case from this website through this particular email. Okay. And with this email, there's a customer, there's a contact that has already been registered inside Salesforce. That's why if I open this, let me just quickly open and show you this. When I clicked on that case ID, this is how the case looks like. This is the view of an agent, by the way, I, as an agent, I'm viewing this particular screen where this is the case detail. Okay. Who is the case owner? This is the case owner. What is the status? This is the status, by the way. Okay. This is called path. The path basically define what is the status of this particular case. And if you scroll down, Alex actually had created the case from this particular website. You remember this is check this out. I actually use my email address to create the case. And the subject was testing case from Alex. The description was testing description from Alex. Exactly. This is what you get to see when you open this case. If you scroll down, check out the subject. So if you see, this is the subject, what exactly I put in my uh, form and this is the description, right? And the best part about Salesforce service cloud is basically, see, anybody can create a case. Anybody can create a case. And if that person is a already customer inside Salesforce service cloud, then that case or the ticket supposed to be tagged under that particular customer. If that is not a customer, right? Suppose Rajesh is raising a case and Rajesh is not a registered customer inside Salesforce account or contact right in this in that case we can automate we as an admin can write a small flow that will create the customer data and that will tag that ticket of the case under that particular customer all right so this video i just tried to explain you how website like web 2 case feature works right so web 2 case is a feature where a salesforce can receive the case data right from a website and that's very easy to configure as a salesforce admin what we have to do is we just have to go here fill in this generate that html form the html form look like this this html form this html code we have to provide to the website developer the developer will fill and and their own css and style and the form will look like this and the moment somebody fill the data and click on submit it will create a case like like this inside salesforce and the customer will receive an auto response email like this that hi customer this is your case and so and so all right this is how the web 2 case and auto response rule auto response rule where you receive the email okay auto response rules works okay next video i'm going to explain you because this video is going to be a little long if i explain all the feature in one video so next video i'm just going to show you how this case can be assigned to an executive in a round robin fashion okay salesforce has a very nice feature called omni channel with the help of omni channel we can actually assign the case to a particular agent okay so see you in the next video